how Arsenal will line up with Ben White. <laughs> Remember, Arsenal has shown its interest in Ben White, and as the Euros are done, we are 100% sure that Arsenal is really going to secure this deal because this was something that was really plain deals to happen for players still in the Euros. You see, even Jordan Sancho has already agreed a deal in principle with the team which goes by names of Manchester United, and guess what is happening now? He has taken close to two weeks after agreeing a deal with Manchester United in principle and the official announcement has not yet been made. A medical has not yet been made. Now, one thing I want to let you know is that today we are taking you through how Arsenal will line up with Ben White because Arsenal have really agreed personal terms with Ben White and we all know that the price that they put on Ben White, the 50 million pounds, Arsenal are willing really to meet it, though they face stiff competition for Man City, but we're 100% sure that Ben White is heading to a team which goes by names of Arsenal. Welcome to the Football News Top 10 and Lifestyle Zone, guys. Please feel free to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. This is Rokan David, aka RD, as I bring you this story. Now, we all know that the Euros were done, England lost to Italy, and Ben White and the English players are back to their respective clubs, homes, others are going for holiday. But for people like Ben White, they really have things to first get done before they really get to a holiday in here because he has to secure his next move before he really gets out for holiday because his future needs to be secured. Now, allow me to take you through this predicted lineup of Arsenal featuring Ben White in there. How is Ateta going really to come in and stand the Arsenal lineup as they play next season with a man who goes by names of Ben White? Well, <laughs> that's the pitch as you see it there. And all I can let you know that it's, <coughs> it's what we call the predicted lineup of Arsenal. How Arsenal will stand with the lad who goes by names of Ben White in there. Ben White being one of the potential targets and that is the pitch where the player is really going to be playing and how you know how these things are done so this is how we do it here on the football news top tens and lifestyle zone and we are really going to bring you how Ben White is really going to line up with the team which goes by names of Arsenal in here but all in all I want to let you know that this is the channel we do sports news for all teams in here we are not restricted to one team please subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily Ben White is one of the notables that Arsenal is targeting and right now we are into the mix and we are really going to bring you as you see on the screen how Arsenal will line up with Ben White remember Ben White plays as a center back for a team which goes by the name of Brighton Alhoven in the, in the Premier League they came into the Premier League and they've been playing very well you see him onto that further further right putting in the Arsenal jersey that is Ben White in there for you and now the manager who goes by names of Ateta who is in, who, who, who is interested in his services is coming up onto the screen and you are really going to see him in there that is Ateta with a big smile saying that if at all I get Ben White and my team will really be to the level that most of you really want Arsenal to be is this the signing that is going to put Arsenal where it's supposed to be that is another question and an answer for another day but this time around I'm bringing you how Arsenal will line up with a lad who goes by names of Ben White Bernard Leno in goal, remember, Bernard Leno has been an Arsenal goalkeeper and a man who goes by names of Ateta showed him love when he really got an injury. And Martinez came into the goal and really did very well, but Martinez was sold off to a team which goes by names of Aston Villa at 20 million pounds in there. And you saw him do wonders for Argentina in there and he got them through to the final. The other player is Hector Berarin because he's expected to move away from Arsenal, but because he has not yet moved away from Arsenal and Arsenal have not signed his replacement. That's why he's into this lineup because we think a player who goes by names of Hector Berarin is still an Arsenal player and is still into the plans of a man who goes by the names of Ateta in there. Now, the other player in the central defense is Holding in there. I think Holding had a fantastic season at Arsenal and he was one of the main central defenders in there, either partnering with Gabriel in there, into defense always, into that Arsenal team. And he really did great in there and we expect him to partner with Ben White in there because Ben White is expected to go to a team which goes by names of Arsenal. As you see him there, that is Ben White in there for you don into that fly emirates jersey we expect him to partner with rob holding into that central defense because Mikel ateta has not signed any other player into the central defense position apart from 
the Ben White who whom he's willing to bring up at a team which goes by the name of Arsenal. So we think Ben White will partner very well with a man who goes by the name of Rob Holding into that central defense. So those are two English players partnering into there. What a center back partnership in there. We expect it to do lots of things for a team which goes by the name of Arsenal. Left back, KNTN. Kian Tierney is an Arsenal player and he's been playing well for a team which goes by names of Arsenal and I like him by the way he was got from from Scotland in there and you he's Scottish in there and you saw him into the Euros playing for that Scotland team that really managed to draw with a team which goes by names of England so that is a man who goes by names of <coughs> Tierney in the central defense sorry in the CADM it's it's going to be a double midfield pivot that is El Nini in there into the Arsenal lineup as you see him there smiling and we expect him to play into the midfield pivot there that is going to defend the back four of Kian Tierney, Ben White and a player who goes by names of Rob Holding and a player who goes by the names by the names of Hector Berarin in there and he's going to play the midfield pivot with a man who came from from Atletico Madrid in last summer and came into Arsenal in here and that man goes by the names of Thomas Pate, Thomas Pate, he, he's an African player coming in from Ghana, and <coughs> Nini is that player who plays in a team which goes by names of Egypt and is now playing for a team which goes by names of Arsenal. And by the way, if I told you observe the Arsenal very well towards the season, like the ten, the last 10, 20 games of the season, El Nini had grown into the starting lineup of Arsenal in there. So the manager who goes by names of Ateta trusted him and he was on loan at Besiktas away and the manager Ateta called him back <laughs> because he literally admired his services in there. That is Hector Berarin in, sorry, a player who goes by name El Nini in there for you. I don't know whether he's going for the Olympics, but I don't know because he's really needed at Arsenal and Thomas Pate. You saw those photos. He has already returned at Arsenal and they are into the preseason training. Let's get into that lineup. As you see it, the back four is going to be protected by El Nini and a man who goes by name of Thomas Pate in there. As you see it there, that is. Those are so far the seven players that we expect. Now let's get into those four that we expect to complete this lineup because every football team has close to 11 players. Bokayo Saka, who missed a penalty yesterday for a team which goes by names of England. Bukayo Saka, who missed a penalty for a team which goes by names of England yesterday. He is up there into the right wing in there. He's really a very fantastic player and I really felt bad for him to miss out on the penalty. I don't know how he's really going to lift himself to see if that he gets back to the level he's supposed to be. Smith Rowe, linked to an Aston Villa. Remember, Aston Villa has put in close to three bids and they've been rejected by a team which goes by names of Arsenal. That is Smith Rowe in there for you. Playing, making his debut last season and he really played very well into that role and Smith Rowe is really a very good player. He's really good because Shebayos was one of the players that we expected was really top class but Smith Rowe reached an extent when he's a starter into that that number 10 role of Arsenal in there playing it better than Shebayosh in there and Odegaard also came in there and they really played very well but Odegaard is away from Arsenal back to Real Madrid and Shebayosh is also back to Real Madrid in there I think they're really going to sell him Nicolas Pepe playing off the left wing guys guys Nicolas Pepe, when he came in at Arsenal, by the way, I think he's the most expensive player Arsenal has ever bought in there. Close to 73 million pounds from a team which goes by names of Lille. Nicolas Pepe, he's a left up playing off that left side. But last season, guys, Nicola Pepe had his best season for Arsenal ever since he really came on. Because for me, I really regarded him as a flop, but he really proved me wrong. And he really had a very good season last season season of 2020 2021 he really played very well so nicola pepe is expected to play off the left wing in there because that's where a man who goes when he's of Mikel ateta plays him he's having two lefters all good on the wing so that's why bokayo saka is playing off the left the right wing and nicola pepe is playing off the right wing now leading the line is a man who goes by names of abomia guys when you look at arsenal <laughs> The prolific striker that Arsenal has is a man who goes by names of Aubameyang, and I don't see him being benched by a man who goes by names of Lacazette. You know, he's really he had a bad season 
he had a bad season but i think class is permanent and Abomiang, if at all he's not being played off the left wing and his left his left to the line, I think and bang in those goals for team which goes the names of Arsenal. Now, when you look at that team of Arsenal, that is something that I really want to let you know as you look at it there. Arsenal, the predicted lineup we have Leno in goal, Hector Bellard in right back, central defense, Ben White, and the man who goes by names of Rob Holding, Kian Tieni, El Nini, El Nini and and a player who goes by the names of Thomas Partey from Ghana, who was signed from a team which goes by Atletico Madrid after Arsenal triggered the, his buyout clause of £45 million and brought him to Arsenal. Those are the two players playing into the double midfield pivot of Arsenal. Saka off the right wing, Pepe off the left wing, Smith throw a plank to that number 10 role behind a man who will always lead the line for Arsenal, who goes by the names of Aubameyang in there for you. That is unpredicted lineup of. That's how we think Arsenal will stand or line up with the man who goes by the names of Ben White in there because his signing is imminent because he is out of the Euros. The Euros are done and they are really heading back and expect that deal to happen anytime from now. So I don't know what you guys think. How do you think Ateta could really line up Arsenal with a player who goes by the names of Ben White? That's how I think Arsenal should stand with Ben White. So I'm waiting for your views into the comment section below, guys. Please feel free to comment and subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. This is already onto this channel, please. This is the football news, top tens and lifestyle zone, guys. We are really coming up with the top tens and the lifestyle onto this channel. Please, this is already. I'm out for now. See you later. Please feel free to tell me what you think about this predicted lineup and very many more. This is already. I'm out for now. See you later in our next.